Hi, right, this is iPhone Cracker here with iyoshiblog.com. Today I'm going to be doing a video review of the new Gavy Sim for the iPhone 4. So, when you get the Gavy Sim, you pretty much get their little instruction guide, and you get two packs. Inside, first, you get the actual Sim Interposer, which controls the unlock. And then you get a special Sim tray that they provide. So it's pretty straightforward. You just put the SIM interposer into the SIM slot and then insert your SIM. Alrighty, so just to, so you can see. See my phone is on 4.3.2 and the modem firmware is 4.10.01. So, obviously, it's not unlockable by Ultra Snow. So you can see the bars in the top corner start to show up. You wait for this message. Please select Accept, Continue, wait 15 seconds, and dial 112, and hang up within 2 seconds. Turn on airplane mode until no SIM card install message shows up, then turn it off, and you're now done. So you click Accept, and you want to wait 15 minutes, or 15 seconds, sorry. Pretty much, um, when you see their little signal bar, show up up here um, that pretty much is when it's okay to go ahead and call so what you want to do is push call and you want to count one two and then end so that way it doesn't actually connect now there's a lot of controversy with the potential um, dialing the 112 emergency number but as long as you don't connect it you're uh, generally going to be just fine so go ahead and turn it in play mode off and this part takes around 15 20 seconds and again, this only has to be done if you completely turn your phone off. So if you're like me and just keep it in sleep mode and don't ever really turn power it off, you don't really ever have to worry about it um, unless you get something in Cydia that requires a reboot or your battery dies or you just completely turn the phone off. But for the most part, it's pretty simple and not really a hassle and uh, it's definitely worth it. So no SIM card installed. Turn airplane mode back off. You'll see SIM failure. Now if we look up here and see the bars show up, now I'll start searching. So I'll go ahead and open the phone app up in the meantime. And then your carrier should show up right after the searching, the initial searching anyways. But generally when you see the bars, you are good to call. And there you go, you see T-Mobile up there, and the iPhone is now unlocked. Whatever the speaker is not working, but anyways, you can see the call connected, and that's it. Um, you know, I've been using the Gavy Sim for about a week now, and I definitely think it's worth it. And if you're, you know, don't feel like waiting anymore, the new unlock by the dev team, the NCK method they're working on, is probably going to take a while. So, if you've been waiting six or seven months to get your iPhone unlocked, um, I'd say go ahead and get the Gavy Sim. They just lowered the price to $35. Um, I'll put the link uh, at the bottom of this thread so you can check it out. And uh, yeah, I think it's a great uh, product. And also, I forgot to mention, um, normally uh, in this area of town I live, um, I don't get service in my house at all. And I noticed with the Gavy Sim, it also boosts your signal, whereas I would go in and out of service a lot with T-Mobile in my town and when I had my iPhone 3GS but now with this um, I never lose service I'm always connected and uh, you know that's just another little uh, perk to having the Gavy Sim so um, yeah that's it for today um, again this is iPhone Cracker and enjoy